Campaigns in Washington are often a common theme, but today the thousands who converged on the nation's capital for the Poor People's Campaign weren't seeking office. They're fighting for better lives. News Force Derek Ward joined the group today to hear their message. It was 1968 when people first converged on the nation's capital as part of a Poor People's Campaign. 54 years later, another gathering under the same moniker over some of the same issues. I think that the wealthiest nation and the wealthiest nation in the country you have 140 million poor and low-wealth people. The numbers have increased, as has the fervor for change. 32 million people get up every morning and work for less than a living wage when it doesn't have to be. Reverend Dr. William Barber called this solemn, serious, but necessary. This diverse, passionate, and peaceful crowd at the foot of the Capitol came to show the strength of their numbers. This is a moral majority, and the way things are going as far as our country is concerned with the white supremacists, and people are just acting up. And it's, i got to show my support somehow. I didn't have the experience for my age with the prior civil rights movements, but I think that this is the time that we need to rise up again. And there were those in pursuit of more immediate change, more than one mother of a son that succumbed to violence. They say the investigations into their deaths have succumbed to injustice. The history, it, it's present, it's happening still. Reverend Dr. Barber says the Poor People's March puts a face on injustice wherever it happens. So that America can see herself and say something's wrong here. In 68, they built houses on the mall, resurrection cities. Today, Dr. Bernice King, a daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King, is behind an effort called Ready Life that helps the people this march is about buy homes. But to do it a different way. We're helping them with the down payment. They're gonna, the credit, their credit's going to be on us. Concrete efforts to build generational wealth and reduce the need for poor people's campaigns. Derek Ward, News 4. Powerful.